A two-story structure built by a homeless man in Bend is raising questions about what the city deems acceptable. Kelsey McGee heard concerns from neighbors and the city's response. Every couple days I would just see it growing and building until I realized he's building a house. He's got steps, he has a window. Okay, so if this guy starts doing this, um, is others are going to try to do this. Rochelle Munford lives across the street from the two-story structure on Northeast Mary Rose Place. She's watched the progression for a month and recently sent us this video. Right now, here, like he's going to live here. Yeah, this is the guy. Munford says plywood, wood pallets, and sheet metal have been used to build it. Across the street is a senior community where residents pay from $5,000 to $10,000 a month. Everybody's curious about, about that man building. Where does he get his materials if he's homeless and doesn't have any money? And where does he get the materials? And the community relations director at Prestige Living says the two-story shelter and vehicles in the area are a hindrance for business. We feel for them and their situation and what they're going through, but unfortunately it's a not only an eyesore to our current residents and also potential residents, but also a worry for current residents just going out. Peterson says those encampments also hinder ambulance emergency response time coming in and out of the entryway. He says management at Prestige Living has contacted the city. We would love to chat with city officials if they'd be willing to speak with us and understand why the regulations don't, uh, don't seem to take into account the business's point of view. We reached out to the Bend Mayor and members of the city council and were sent this statement from the communications director. It says in part they're aware of the structure and have interacted with the owner about code violations and are in the process of developing a plan to address ongoing violations. There's no time frame yet. I understand the homeless issue. I feel for them. But it's also something I don't feel like I need to look at every single day when I'm going to work. And just trash is bad enough, but this guy's building a home. So it doesn't look like he's planning on going anywhere anytime soon. We asked the city of Bend for clarification on what the violations were for the man who built the structure. They said he violated the time limitations under the parking code and put the structure in the right of way. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.